you guys, I'm back, baby. <laughs> I am so excited to be back filming after having my sweet little baby girl, Felicity Rose. I'll pop a picture on the screen right here of my little pumpkin. Boy, I was excited to get back this time around. And I think I've just realized about myself, I don't do well just like sitting at home. I really just don't. I don't. I thrive having things to do. And this is obviously something I freaking love and I've loved doing for years. So I am jazzed and I that is like an understatement I'm jazzed to be back we actually have her here with us because obviously I'm still feeding her and you know but it's just nice to be sitting in this room chatting with you guys so I've got my coffee and I have a big old Sephora haul and you guys <laughs> I had mentioned that this haul was kind of like a push present to myself this may be the most I've ever bought from Sephora at one time <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm looking at all this stuff, I'm like, ugh. But I've used a lot of it the past few weeks just for funsies, and so I do actually have some thoughts on some of it. We're obviously gonna be getting ready together too, so you'll get to see some of it in action. Whoa, whoa. Also, uh, some of it I haven't used yet, so it, this is just gonna be fun. So, let's dive in. I need to put on sunscreen, and I don't have any, so I'm just gonna throw on the Paula's Choice. Okay, I have some, but not in the haul, you know what I mean. This is the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, like little travel. Size. I love this uh, SPF though. I've loved it for a long time. Jess, you're gonna have to put your hair back, honey. <laughs> Being a little bold here. We're supposed to get newborn photos tomorrow. And actually not just newborn photos, but like all of us will be in it type photos. And I get so anxious getting my photo taken, man. Do you guys, like, I, I hate it. I hate it, which is funny because I know like on camera, but it's different. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, I hate it, but I know I'll be so glad I we did this and have these photos of our little family, so it's worth it, but I hate it. This is also the first time I've done my hair, not just air drying it, like I actually blow dried it, and not even just the like since postpartum, I mean like, <laughs> I don't think I did my hair while pregnant the whole time, like I just let it air dry, which I'm sure my hair thanks me for, but still, it's kind of crazy. Let's dive into a foundation. So I got two different, and I feel like I'm missing one. The problem was I'd also, <laughs> place like a Ulta order and a similar time frame, you know, cause they had had the sale, the 21 days of beauty sale right before. So I, anyway, long story short, I feel like I have so many foundations I'm trying right now. And it was hard for me to remember like, which ones did I actually buy during the sale? I need you guys to just deal with my brain. Okay. <laughs> right now it's, this is the best it's going to be. <laughs> so I've got two that I bought. One was the Makeup Forever HD Skin. This is a newer foundation from them. If you recall, Makeup Forever used to be like they had their HD foundation and it was like the end all be all for so long. Like that was what everyone wore for their wedding and like everyone talked about it for years. I remembered liking it, but I feel like I didn't like love, love it. You know, this is different though as far as i understand it also i love the packaging with like the beige color i have used this once and i really enjoyed it i'm gonna use it again today but the color's not quite right so i'm like dang do i try to exchange it for the right color i have one r12 which is r230 and it's i don't know what i was thinking it's just a little too dark the other thing i got and I can tell you right now, I was already disappointed in, is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Tint. So this is not the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation, the radiant one that I love. That's why I bought this, because I was like, listen, I love a lot of Shiseido products, and so many of you guys were like, Jessica, please try this. I don't like this. It's thick's not the right word. I knew I wouldn't be able to describe this, but instantly when I used it, I was like, nope. You can't apply it with a sponge. It's not that kind. It's very lotion-y. And I, I literally mean it feels, do you, okay, that's the perfect example. Like you can't quite blend it in. It's like it doesn't mix with other stuff. Do you see that? It's weird. Look at that. What is happening? So you can't really use a brush or a sponge, which is fine, because it's a tint, you can just use your fingers. So I did one half with the sponge and I was like, okay, well that's not working. And I literally mean it would not blend in. So I used my finger and it did that thing where it would just stick in certain areas and you could, it's bad, y'all. It's just straight up bad. And think about it. I use a lot of different tints and types of products like this, and this was a no-go. Absolutely not. Do not enjoy. Please don't waste your money. No. <laughs> Big fat no. So we're going to go in with this, even though it's not quite the right shade. So it's got a pump and, of course, a nice glass bottle. Ooh, a fresh new sponge. <sighs> Baby. Also, I'm drinking one of those Javelia mocha things where you mix like the... It's basically hot chocolate mixed with coffee. It's so good. You can get it on Target. I'll link the exact one below because it's like the best treat ever. So yeah, you're gonna see this is way too dark. I guess it's not looking so dark on camera, but 
you know, in person when you, you're like, I know if I don't blend this down my neck freaking all the way to my chest, like it's going to be obvious. But I feel like it really evens the skin tone out really quickly. I wouldn't call this like full coverage, not by a long shot, but let's just see if you can kind of build it. Like I said, I've only, I think I've worn this twice. So this is time number three. Yeah, I think you can build it a little bit. Just about medium coverage with two coats. It's just pretty, like it's pretty on the skin. And I feel like it blends in super fast. I mean, you watch that super, super fast. And it just doesn't look heavy or anything like that. Like that can be hard to find. Ones that can build up to this coverage and some of them though will just look kind of heavy. I feel like you can go ham with this and it doesn't really, it just looks nice on the skin. It looks like skin. So I, I feel like already I'm enjoying this more than I enjoyed the original HD foundation from a while back. And again, this is not a glowy foundation by any means. This is definitely maybe satin because you can still see a little bit of life in my skin. But you, I mean, I didn't put on a glowy primer or anything just to really look at what this looks like on its own. It really is just satin. Okay, what do you think about the color match though? Because it's obviously not perfect. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. Like once it's blended in. Do you think I should exchange it for another color? Do you know what color I'd be? Like if you and I typically wear the same colors and you know your shade, let me know. That's sometimes the most helpful thing of all because you know, they have all those like foundation matri matrices online and you can usually get close, but they're not perfect. Like it's just not a perfect system, but it is helpful. Sometimes the most helpful thing is when you guys just tell me like, Jess, we're the same shade and this is the shade I wear. So let me know, I'll just keep blending it. This is gonna be a long video. I'm just gonna let you know right now, baby, because we're doing we're doing the most. We're chatting. I obviously really want to be here, <laughs> and I've got a lot of makeup to talk about. So there's and we're trying it all on. So verdict on this, I really enjoy it. Might get a different shade. And if I'm comparing this to like, what are some new foundations I've been trying and liking? Like the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I really really like that. This reminds me of that, but I think this is just a little more satin matte. You know what I mean? Whereas the other one's maybe slightly glowier. It's not super glowy, but, and I think this might have a little bit more coverage as well. It'd be slight, but it does have a little bit more. So uh, I have some concealers and a brush. So I finally bought another of the Sephora 56 brush. This is the 56.5 cause it's like the shorter, like travel-y mini brush but it's the same brush. This is one of my favorites for actually concealer. And I think it's supposed to be a foundation brush, but there's something about the shape of it. I love it for my under eye, it's just so fast. Now I'm realizing because the brush itself is smaller, this is also smaller. Well, no, that's just about the right size. I think it's slightly smaller. I was thinking the brush part would be the same, but then the, it would just be a shorter handle, but I think this, but either way, I mean, this is literally perfect. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is such a good concealer brush. I have a lot of favorites, but this is definitely up there. So excited to have another one, cause I'm always like, dang it, it's super dirty and I need to wash it and I don't want to use it, you know? So we're going to use that. So I have three concealers, <laughs> no, four concealers that I bought. <laughs> First up was this one, the Bobbi Brown Corrector, the Skin Corrector Stick in Light Bisque. You guys know I love, I actually brought it with me. So I love the Bobbi Brown Corrector. This is one of my favorites I've repurchased a million times. This is a new launch from Bobbi Brown that in my head is supposed to be the same product, but just in a stick. So we're gonna swatch these side by side because I have the exact same shade in both as well. So shade wise, pretty much the same. That is the original Bobbi Brown one in a pot. This is the new stick corrector. They seem to be pretty much the exact same, right? I mean, let me try to kind of blend them a bit. No, I really can't detect a difference. So I used this the other day on my under eyes and I was like, I think it's pretty much, like that's how I would apply the corrector just like with my finger and then I would literally blend it in and it just helps so much with that darkness I have on that inner part. Sometimes I'll wear this kind of product just as it is, like as the concealer and other times I'll put that there and then I'll put like concealer on top, you know? This is kind of nice, like if you're someone that doesn't like to dip your hands in a pot, this might be way more preferable to you, you know? And it's just convenient, I mean, you can get it exactly where you want it. So I feel like it did a good job. I mean, this looks just like the one in the pot, y'all. I'm trying to see like, I've used that other one a million times. Like, do I really even detect a difference? I'm really not sure I do. I think maybe, maybe the pot one is a little bit more emollient, but this one is still so creamy too that I think it's so slight that if you'd prefer the stick, I really think you'd like it. So pretty cool that they launched that. I think that's neat. And you know, it's kind of hard to find a good corrector concealer 
in stick format. Like I think it must be hard for people to formulate because I feel like it just like good ones don't exist. They're pretty rare. So that is an awesome find. I do still wanna put on some concealer. So one repurchase, the Shiseido Self-Refreshing Concealer. This is like top favorite ever. I'm almost out, so I, it was the perfect time to buy it. I wear the shade 103 Fair, if you were curious. Love this, like seriously, favorite concealer. Now, I also bought the LYS Triple Fix Concealer. Again, shade, totally wrong. I'm gonna swatch it. I've used it like twice, because I was like, even though the shade is way too dark for me, it hardly looks dark, I know. It's definitely a thinner formula, which I don't always love. You'd think I would, but I don't know. I like one that has got a little oomph to it, but it is still really nice. I just, I think I just need to get a shade that I like a little bit more. This is just a little orange on my under eye, so it just looks weird, and so it's hard for me to tell. So, Verdict is still out on that one, but we're gonna use the Rose Ink Concealer. This is the shade LX030. This I used once and I have no idea how I feel. I do feel like I didn't need a lot, like it was a lot more brightening than I realized, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna kinda go light with this, but this is one that's getting so many freaking rave reviews, it's crazy. Let me spread it out a bit and let it kind of get tacky. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wanna do one side with the brush, one side with the sponge, because I don't think I've tried it with the sponge yet. So, it's pretty light compared to, oh my gosh, compared to what I typically do, this is way too light. Don't you feel like this looks weird on me? I don't usually go this bright if you're used to watching my videos, but it might look nice. Hey man, I could, <laughs> I've got a two week old baby right now. I could use all the sleep I can get. And by sleep, yes, but I mean brightening and help help down there. I feel like it blended really easily. I feel like that looks nice though. I did not do a great job with my shades, did I, on this? I was all kinds of all over the place. I have a dry patch right there on my eye, so just ignore it, because it's gonna look crazy. Just trust. I don't know. I just don't know, man. I, I just don't feel like it's looking great. And again, it could just be that it's the theme of the video, just that the shade is bad. Plus with the darker foundation that I've got on, like it's just a really bad combo, y'all. I promise we'll get better, I promise. Jury's out on that too. And again, I, these are first impressions. You guys already know. I'll do a speed reviews video here in a month or two and update you on how I'm feeling about all of this. And especially if I do end up getting some different shades of stuff, I'll uh, have a better idea of how I actually feel. So I got the Laura Mercier. This was a Taylor Wynn made me buy it. Secret blurring powder for the under eyes. Listen, I love under eye powders, <laughs> okay? It's like a white powder that kind of becomes translucent, it's supposed to be a little bit brightening, but most importantly, blurring. And of course, it'll set your under eye. So I am jazzed. I have felt like the first few times I used it, it was hard, like you had to get past the first layer. I can't explain it. It was one of those kinds of things, but we're gonna try it. So comparing with and without, Definitely looks a little more blurred, don't you think? I'll have to try this more with like concealers I already know and love, you know what I mean? The time I've used it before, I think I've used it maybe two times before, I uh, used it with actually the Taylor Wynn brush that's like really dense that you can just press it into the under eye and it definitely, I think, lends itself well to that because I do think this is kind of pressed hard in the pan at first. Now it's feeling a lot softer. So like I said, once you get past that first layer, I think it's really easy to get out of the pan but I really liked it with that dense brush. So I'll be curious to try it more with that too. But I feel like that looks nice and blurred, it looks set. So that I think is really nice. I freaking love setting my concealer. And if you'd asked me like three years ago, I felt like that wasn't as necessary for me, but nowadays I feel like it totally is. Maybe it's because I have more under eye fine lines and wrinkles. That's probably it. Just throwing on the e.l.f. wow brow. Yes, still obsessed. I wanna try the new, I've seen a lot of people try it, the NYX Stick It Flick It, that can't be what it's called. It's like the Tame It Frame It, Stick It Flick It. What is it called? Some of you guys are dying right now because you know exactly what it's called, you know what I'm referencing, but it's a NYX product for the brows, but it seems like totally like what I would like, similar to this, so I definitely wanna give that a whirl. So for eyes, we are gonna go really simple, and this was uh, inspired by Amy Lynn Sattler here on YouTube. I literally have been wondering what it is she's been wearing on her eyes, and every time it looks so pretty, and I'm pretty sure it's been this. It's literally the single shadow from MAC in the shade All That Glitters. I made a discovery. First of all, this is like the single prettiest shadow ever. <laughs> Seriously, it's like the best single shadow. We're gonna do it today. But I made a discovery that the Velux Pearl formula from MAC 
is what I like from MAC because I've tried all tons of shades over the years and every once in a while I'll hit one like in a limited edition palette and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I wish all MAC shadows were this formula. I'm realizing it's always the shades that are Velux Pearl. So if I ever were to buy any more, that's the formula I'm gonna get because I love this kind of shimmer anyway, but the, it's just the best formula from them, man. So this was one of those shades that way back in the day, like there was first of all, L Fowler, her whole channel was called All That Glitters based on this shadow. So that was like way back in the day. And I think it was discontinued and they brought it back, baby. And it is back with a vengeance. And I had no idea it was back. So I just tap it all over the lid. Surprise, surprise. And then I just get a clean fluffy brush and just kind of blend it. And it's just the prettiest. I feel like when you're like in the sun, it catches the light so freaking perfectly. It's one of those shadows that people will be like, what are you wearing on your eyes? You know what I mean? Cause it doesn't look like you tried very hard because you didn't, but it just looks stunning. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Perfect. Like this is going to be the travel shadow. You know what I mean? Like this is just going to go with me and that's really all I need, you know? Okie dokie. So I repurchased my makeup by Mario brown eyeliner. This is in the perfect brown, I think is the one. And some of you guys were asking like, Jessica, I think they renamed the shades and this isn't the same one I'm talking about. So I was excited to have it again because I want to make sure that it's still the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, this looks, yeah, this is definitely the one. So if you were someone asking, Perfect Brown is still the shade that I love. This is the one that does not transfer down if you put it in your waterline or transfer up. Like it, it stays in place and I'm telling you the black one that they sell is not the same formula. I've been using it and it's just not. So I have not repurchased a liner as many times as I've done this one in ever, I don't think. I don't think I've ever repurchased a liner so much. I love it. I love it. So creamy and yet it's so workable. Like you can use a like stiff brush or the back end of it to like flick it out if you want because it's so easy to but then once you're ready for it to just stay in place, it just does. Like, it's so good, you guys. I kind of low-key wish it were not a sharpenable one. Kind of wish it was retractable, but maybe it wouldn't be the same formula if it was, you know? But it'd be nice, like, I feel like I have to sharpen it all the time, because of course I do, which is why I have to replace it all the time. But it's worth it, man. It's worth it. So easy. So freaking easy. And I've said this a lot, but even if you're someone that doesn't like brown liner, like, I've never been a brown liner person. I am a black liner gal. It doesn't really matter with this. Like it's so dark, I can't tell. This is the eye that's really hard for me to like get it to wing properly, you know? So for those wondering, I'm intentionally not really talking a lot about postpartum and all that. Cause that's not, I don't, this is not the video I wanted to do that in. So I'll do that in another video, like with kind of the birth story and updates and all of that. Cause I know a lot of you guys are wondering, but just a quick thing to say, it went really well. It really did. It was a totally different experience than when we had our first baby. So there's that. If you've been at least curious about that, it went really well. So I'll talk about all of that in the other video for those that actually wanna know the details. I will certainly give those details, but not in today's video. All right, so love that. No surprise there. Also it does, I forgot. It does actually come with a little sharpener with it. I don't think I remembered that. Now I'm staring at one right here that I have from the last one I bought, which is nice. So then if you don't have one, you know this one goes with it like it should work really well with it although i i always use my favorite the nar sharpener that's got the two sizes is the best pencil sharpener so i'll link that below because it's like i think six bucks like it's not super expensive so where are we at i want to set my face oh no i want to try this so i got two bronzers the two face chocolate bronzer i talked about it in i'll link the video it was the one where i talked about products i regret decluttering and this was on that list I got the milk chocolate one because I've got fairer skin. I thought it would mesh well with it. I have been using this like nonstop. Love it. You guys, I've been using this pretty much every day the past like week. It has that fake chocolate smell, which I think is fun. I love the packaging. It feels so nice. It's got a nice magnet. Anyway, I'm so glad to have this again and it's really, really good. So very happy, but we're not gonna use that today. We're gonna use this, which I have not tried. This is the KVD Beauty Liquid Gel Contour. I have seen this all over the place for like months and months, and so I've been wanting to try it for a while, but not bad enough to buy it. I haven't put on mascara, have I? All right, 
pause, I'll BRB, I'm gonna throw on some mascara. Okay, while I'm doing this, we went to an Elton John concert before we had the baby, like days before, and we genuinely, this these were tickets we bought years ago, and it originally got canceled, not because of COVID, it was like before COVID, it got canceled because like he was sick. And so then they rescheduled it, and then that one got canceled because of COVID, naturally. And it was finally taking place and it was literally days, like maybe a week before my due date, but that's just when it got rescheduled for, like we couldn't plan for that. And so we were like, well, we can just keep the tickets and see if we can actually go. Like we knew the likelihood was slim. Anyway, we got to go in the end, it worked out, which I can't believe. We were like, I guess worst case scenario, we can like sell the tickets, like on Ticketmaster, you can usually resell it through them. Like, I guess we could try to do that if, if we ended up having the baby too soon or whatever. Anyway. We went and it was so freaking awesome. And it's his farewell tour for real. Tyler, my husband freaking loves Elton John, like ever since he was a kid. And Tyler plays piano and stuff too. So like, it's just one of those things. So it was so fun to go with him and see him see one of his favorite artists. Cause I like Elton John as much as the next guy, but I don't have that love for him the way he does. You know what I mean? So it was just so cool. And of course there's so many songs that we all know, whether you realize it's Elton John or not, like he, my gosh, has been around forever. So it was just so, so cool to see. But what was weird was that as we were there, we were actually like sending Snapchats to our friends and we were like, it is empty here. Like, this is crazy. The show's about to start and like half the seats are straight up empty. Finally, about halfway through the show, a lot more of it was filled up and we were like, okay. But it was just weird. I'm like, why are all these people late? And he didn't have an opening act. Like that was it, he was it. Long story short, we found out later, there were all kinds of people because of all the rescheduling and then turns out like the venue had like redone seating in the past few years and like the tickets didn't line up with actual seats and weird stuff so so many people had spent so much money on these tickets like we had the cheapest seats we could possibly get literally in the nosebleeds we were in the back row <laughs> but so many people had spent a ton of money on tickets and didn't get to see them because their tickets didn't transfer to a real seat like it was awful it was all over the news and i'm like that would be so freaking terrible so i don't know what they've done to like fix that issue like i hope people got freaking refunded and then some because like again this was it like he's not touring again he's not coming to indiana again where we live it's just i feel so bad for people like that would just be so awful little story time about our concert experience but it was it was so cool so did i tell you that was the milani anti-gravity mascara i do like that mascara i think it looks nice now we're gonna try this kvd i don't even know how this works okay so I know it's, yeah, a doe foot. I guessed on the shade, I got Fair Cool 90. That might be perfect for me. I should probably like actually look it up, huh? Because I'm like, I really don't know how to apply this. I can think of a few ways I wanna try, but I wanna do it right. All right, so I just watched a video about it and it did say um, some stuff I didn't know that it's in a clear base. So the pigment, because of that, I guess it looks a little more natural on the skin and not like a very obvious contour. It looks more like a shadow. And then it looks like a lot of them are using a brush. So it says use your fingers or a very dense brush. So I'm just gonna... But the other thing it said was that ooh, it doesn't move the foundation underneath. Okay. This is perfect. Y'all. That's what you want. That's what you want. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. This makes me so excited. This is a brush I don't think you can get anymore. And it's good, it's the Sephora. Well, maybe you can. This is their old line, the Pro Diffuser number 64, but some of them they have in their new line. So if it still exists, I'll link it. But it's, a, it's really good for this because it's like dense, but not too dense. There's a little bit of stippleage. I mean, this is just like, look at with and without. You can really see it like sculpts it enough, but it's not crazy obvious at all. Gosh, it's just so easy, man. This is awesome. I'm so excited. This is one of those freaking TikTok viral products that half of the time, okay, like 80% of the time, those products are trash. I don't even know who to be mad at, like all of TikTok, I don't know. Okay, I feel like I could use a little bit more up here. I feel like this shade, if you're near me, is really good as well, like this is an ideal shade. Holy cannoli, I can't believe, it. I was so intimidated to try it, which is why I hadn't even opened it yet. I'm so glad I have tried it now because now I'm like, uh-huh, mm-hmm. Every day, baby. What else? I didn't get a blush, so I'm just gonna toss a blush on. I'm just gonna use the Tower 28 blush in Magic Hour. I just literally use my fingers. It's so easy and so pretty. This one's definitely brighter, which I think for like spring and summer right now is so pretty. 
might have gone a little heavy handed with it, but I feel like a sponge so easily blends it that it doesn't really matter. So I also got a, well, this is a repurchase. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation in R220. Oh, this is R230. Well, maybe I should try R220. Anyway, this is the same one I used to have. I don't know why I got rid of this. I loved this. I wonder if it had gone bad or maybe it shattered. I'm like, there's no reason I would have gotten rid of this right here because this is one of my favorite powder foundations. It just so beautifully blurs the skin. It covers, so like if this is beautiful over just straight up sunscreen, like if you just want some good coverage, but you're just quickly thrown on sunscreen, this you can freaking, it looks like you're wearing foundation. It's so beautiful. So this I'm a big fan of. I kind of wish it were smaller packaging because it comes with this puff, which is fine and I do use from time to time. So I should say that like, sometimes I'll just grab this and use this on my nose. But I don't know, like it'd be nice to have the option to not have that and just have a smaller, I don't know. Love that, I already knew I loved that. So I want to try, I've got some lip things to try and then I have some other stuff to share. So I bought a, another Tower 28 lip gloss. This is their Milky Lip Jelly in Pistachio. This is one of their newer shades and I just love this formula. So I knew this was on my list. I was definitely gonna buy it all along. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna put it on to look at it in a second and then I'll probably wipe it off because there's a lot of lip products I wanna try. I did get three lip liners. I got two from my favorite lip liner line, the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I already have a few shades from it that I've loved for a while and I just, bought more <laughs> and they're inexpensive like I feel like these are around $12 which at a certain point is competing with drugstore prices anyway because drugstore prices have gone up and they have so many freaking shades like you can find exactly what you're looking for in this line my favorite is like by far the one I use the most is the shade creme de la creme it's like a rosy nude perfect for every day but let me open these bad boys so the two shades I got are nothing but nude which is a beautiful just classic nude and then this red one in number 12 the red so the one i is this the one i thought would be a little more blue toned or no maybe i wanted a more red toned one or like orange toned because i had a really blue toned red so i have two reds now from this line this nothing but nude is definitely less pink than creme de la creme so if you felt like that one was maybe a little too pink you might really like this one, but I love this formula. It's so creamy, it stays in place, and it's retractable, which is nice. And then on the back, it's got a little shaper. So if you want it to have a point, you can use this to get it back to like that point shape. But I also bought, this was a Jamie Page made me buy it purchase. She always talks about the Makeup Forever liner in Anywhere Caffeine. It's like her favorite lip liner. And I think the idea of this is, yeah, you can use it anywhere. It's multi-use pencil. It is a wooden one. That is a really pretty nude, just a little bit deeper. It's definitely deeper than the Nothing But Nude from Sephora and a little bit more brown. So I definitely wanna try that today. So watching all these first for a reason because I wanna see what will go well together. So I bought two Pat McGrath lipsticks. <laughs> I know, who do I think that I am? But this one is in Beautiful Stranger and it's a matte, but it's kind of like this beautiful pink. I really, I just love that kind of mid-tone pink. And then I also got the shade Elson, which is a red. And I really wanted an amazing red because I feel like a lot of the reds I like are being discontinued. Like I've loved the Marc Jacobs Oh Miley one. I'm pretty sure that's discontinued. And so I'm like, I need other ones to recommend and I know I like this formula. So, so excited about that. And I definitely feel like that will work with this red. It's a little more blue tone though. One that I've been wearing non-stop is this NARS lipstick in Dolce Vita. One of you guys recommended this to me. I even posted on my Instagram stories about it. I just have been plopping it on, like if we'll go visit grandparents or whatever, just to have something on my lips and it is so pretty. I'll just put it on real fast so you can see it, even without a liner. Cause this is like one of those lipsticks that's really moisturizing, kind of low key. It's got like a little bit more of a sheer base. So I literally, we were getting some pictures of us like with some family members with Felicity and I literally just plop this on without even a mirror you know what I mean it's just one of those shades I just feel like it's pretty it's easy it's comfortable it wears off nicely so really really like Dolce Vita I'd never tried the NARS this formula I'd always gone for the NARS audacious lipsticks which, which I love but these like I said are more moisturizing and a little more sheer and I've really been into that so I wanted to mention it because I'm like this is making me want to try more from this line because it's so freaking comfortable. So another thing I've been wearing a lot because I don't need a mirror for it is the Dior Lip Maximizer. This is a hyaluronic lip plumper, it says. It's super sheer. I got a shade that I knew I could just throw on without a mirror, number 13. This is it right here, right there. 
So it's just really nice. It looks really milky on. I can just kind of put it on top of this. Like you can't even tell. It's just really pretty. It plumps, I think, a little bit. Nothing crazy. And it's not like that cinnamon burn. It's more of a just like a light tingle. I do think when I wear that every day, like if I were wearing it like I was wearing it like four days in a row, I do think it starts to make my lips dry out a little bit. So I wouldn't want to use that every single day. However, I've been kind of keeping it in the diaper bag and doing that anyway, because I just like the way it looks. <laughs> so I don't know. And maybe it's just that I, my lips just happen to get dry, but I have a feeling it was that lip gloss. So um, the last lip product I got is this Merit Signature Lip in the shade, not the shade you think. I wanted to get the shade Babe, but then I was looking at them, I'm like, I kind of want to try the shade Slip. It was just a little bit more nudie, and I it was just a different shade than what I typically go for. This reminds me a little bit of that NARS lipstick where it's kind of got more of a sheer base, but this color is so pretty. So the packaging of this, beautiful gold. Isn't that pretty? Merit Man with their packaging, 10 out of 10. I want to try Slip with maybe the Anywhere Caffeine, because I think even though it'll be a little deep for it, it might kind of look really nice and dimensional. So we're gonna give her a whirl. I need to wipe off these swatches first. I bought a set literally, literally years ago from Costco, like the big box of makeup wipes. I don't use them every day. Like I don't use them to remove my makeup. I use them just for swatches and things like that because I mean this is a part of my job and it's really useful to have. So I don't go through them crazy fast. I'm telling you, I'm still working through that box I bought like four years ago. It's crazy. So this, let's try. This is definitely one of those pencils I feel like you need to like warm up because it is a wooden pencil. But the one nice thing about pencils like this is they usually stay in place better than anything else out there. Cause like the Sephora ones are super, super creamy. And I don't think they move around, but I definitely think they would have more of a tendency to move around than something like this would. But this is still pretty creamy. It's like a really good hybrid. I'll color it in just a bit so it's not so stark when I put on the lighter lipstick. I like this shade though, right? Like I feel like it's hard to find a nude shade like this. And it looks really like grown up. So thank you, Jamie, for this, for always talking about it because I've been curious about it. So. We're gonna try the shade Slip from Merit. Now I've got Rocket Man stuck on my head. Y'all, I feel like it looks really like healthy. Like I said, I feel like my lips have been a little bit dry and I don't think it makes them look any drier. I can already tell you now I'm gonna be interested to try more shades from this because I just like the way it feels. It's so, so, so lightweight. I don't even feel like I'm wearing lipstick. So that is exciting. All right, so really quickly, the last few things I got, we don't actually need to try on, which is nice, but I wanna talk about them. So I got two little samples. The Ceramide Cream from Dr. Jar is an amazing moisturizer. I have the full size, but when I saw it was like a point perk, I was like, yup, that's happening. So I threw that in my cart. And then I also got a trial of the Bite Upswing Mascara. I really like, it's just so dry. But again, I'm like, for travel purposes, this is amazing because I know I like this mascara and it's good the second you open it, but it's only good for a few weeks because it dries out so fast. So those were like solid point perks I was excited about. And then I repurchased the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo, one of my favorites. I just, I love it, y'all. I don't think it's like the most cleansing feeling dry shampoo, but it's up there, but it smells really nice and it doesn't leave the craziest white cast. Like some are so amazing, but they leave such a white cast that it's hard to get out of darker hair. So love this. I've bought this a lot. It's definitely up there in like favorite dry shampoos. This was an Andrea Rene made me buy it, purchase. This is the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. It's just for removing makeup. I honestly have only tried like, have I tried one thing from the Inky List? I love cleansing balms in a squeezy tube and I always use a cleansing balm at night to get my makeup off. So this just made me super excited to give it a try. And she said she always recommends this. So I'm, I'm excited. And that's one of those brands that's way more in the affordable region, which is nice. So I only bought two other skincare products. I bought the Ula Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Was it Tati I heard talking about this that she's just like totally obsessed with this? I wanted it because of the color of the packaging. <laughs> But I needed a new moisturizer. Love that it doesn't have a fragrance or anything. I tend to love moisturizers that have like peptides and stuff in it, but also ceramides, man. I, I'm excited to give this a whirl and I needed a new moisturizer because I've been using that Naturium one 
and I just, I don't hate it. I don't think it's bad, but it's not like doing anything revolutionary for my skin. And then I also got the Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask. I've been looking for a new mask. I also just got some Tatcha ones that I'm excited to try too. Um, once I can get bubble baths again, I cannot wait. I'm definitely gonna be trying out some different masks and getting back to you, but this is supposed to even your skin tone and texture from Fresh. It just sounds like what I want. So this is, oh, this is a leave-on mask. I think I did know that. This gentle daily leave-on mask help your skin recover from visible signs of discomfort for a smooth, soft, more even toned complexion. So vitamin C, squalane, can calm and soothe multiple skin types. It's gonna brighten and smooth texture. So it says, apply an even layer on the face, relax for five, ten, five to 10 minutes, massage in the excess, gentle enough to use once a day and best left on overnight. So perfect. I love a good overnight mask. Honestly, that's like the easiest thing because then you don't have to, I don't know, you don't have to worry about rinsing it off. So that is everything, I think. This was so much fun. I love doing this. I do have some drugstore things I bought recently that I haven't tried yet. Some new foundations, some just lip products that I've heard about, but I haven't heard like a lot about that I would love to do just like a drugstore video very soon too. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're glad that I'm back. I sure, sure, sure am so glad to be back. I don't know if it will be right back to three videos a week or not. We're kind of still figuring out our flow. We'll see, but I'm definitely back, baby. And no one's happier about it than me. I can tell you that. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video.